there comes a time when he and death meet. Bless the next cutter that takes his seat. Good morning and hello, ladies and gents. Oh, we got an inspirational success message. Hang on. Not the key to happiness. Uh huh. Happiness is the key to success. Yeah, if sure it is. Hey, do, I got a poster in my last successful. one. Hello, ladies and gents. Welcome to Hard Space Shipbreakers. Let's wake up for the morning and get ready to start our day in the scrapyard. So, special thanks to Focus Entertainment and Hard Space for sponsoring the video. Uh, yeah, thanks, guys. I appreciate the support of the channel. Welcome back it's been two years since we did the original spotlight when it went into early access and i gotta say i'm actually really 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 happy that it's finally out and it's got some full content the ui has been reworked it's changed quite a bit i actually went back and watched that video to see what's changed new ships all kinds of cool stuff including a storyline which i'm not going to spoil here so that you're not going to get any story spoilers um to the point where i am up to thus far but so you know the game is out it's an if officially released over on Steam. Well, welcome to the Hab. We'll look around a little bit. This is our living space in the in the shipyard, where we're here to cut and strip starships. We're hovering above Earth, whale in orbits, um, just outside of these large, like jump gate-looking things that launch ships across the galaxy. People out on adventures, but not us. We're here working to get paid to work our way out of debt. Um, this is our employee terminal. We can check our emails. We can find out what's going on. We can data recover, which I've actually picked up in the last salvage. I picked up a new, uh, I picked up a new little bit of data. So all the information we get is through the company, right? And the company is questionable. You can't believe anything they say. So we can get an unfiltered look at the galaxy by finding data aboard ship as we're tearing them apart, which we'll look at this at another time. Let's actually get out into the world. There's a full upgrade system for our gear and equipment, which is, has been expanded. There's new stuff in here, including some explosive charges I'm really excited to unlock. Uh, but let's go ahead and start our ship. I'm going to pick a new ship because the last one that I picked so I could show you guys the game was kind of, it wasn't boring, but it didn't have any of the interesting threats to it, which was the Phobos 8. Um, so we'll, we'll pick another one. Oh, yeah. Let's do, let's do the Pacifica, the Nox. Uh... Let's do the Cheong 13. Sounds good. Got an electrical possible explosive decompression or just explosive issues, which makes sense because it looks like, yeah, this is one of the fuel haulers. Let's go ahead and start with this ship. And head out the bay. Now, one of the things that I absolutely love about this game is the vibe. Hmm. Poutine. Beetle crunch. Okay, what? No, a dumbbody of some kind. Talking about lunch. You know, you know what? A gooey cricket pizza with. He's the young guy on the crew. Working the other bays. Drifted off again there, Kai. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Uh, hey, Weaver. Sorry. Yeah, I'll get back to it. <laughs> no need to apologize. The food is sorely hurting up here. Trust you, me. I know. Didn't realize how good I had it back when I was clam fishing Earthside. Kill for a clam stew right about now. You used to fish for clams. I'm pulling off some cargo boxes while we listen to them. I anything about clams. Never got to try some, though. Yeah, the work was mighty arduous for sure. But a warm bowl of clam stew was a nice break from the usual grub I was brought up on. Maybe one day we can all grab a bowl together. Clam stew? Oh, this is I exactly what the game needed. You, bet, kiddo. you get a little chatter from the other workers. You kind of get to know them. You'll get emails from them as you go, like learning about it. It looks like my tether snapped. What? 
Yeah, my tether snapped. I must have put it on the wrong side. Weird. All right, so this right here is my grabber. Uh, if I hit R, you can see my tools. We've got my cutter and my grappler. If I right-click it, I can actually set the tether, which I've upgraded the force on a few times, but these cargo barges, these, these boxes are super heavy. Uh, Direct Ways is the ship company that we're, we're starting to strip apart here, but we should get some money for that. So all the stuff on this ship has to be stripped off and go to where it belongs. If it's color-coded, more or less, you get blue goes into the processor. If I poke my head over here, you can kind of see it. I'm drifting around. Zero G, there's another blue section there. Those are the processors. The red ones, where the flames are coming out of, that's the furnace. Anything in red has to go to the furnace, which is mostly structural components on the interior and bits of scrap. Especially if you end up having something like an explosion. You might have a lot more that has to go to the furnace. Uh, there's little bits and pieces all over the ship and inside the ship that is valuable just in and of itself, like this antenna here. I can yank that sucker off with my grabber, bring it down here. If I hit F, I can bling it. And it bounced off a piece, but it's fine. And it looks like we've got ourselves a, what is this, high gain antenna? We're gonna have to cut this sucker off. So let's just swap over to the cutter. And it's got a couple of modes, vertical cut. Let's do a horizontal cut. And also do a singular cut. If we want it to be a little bit more precise. Nice, got it. Head on down. Let's chain these together. Ah, I missed it. I missed it and I ended up chaining it on itself. I can't turn that off and get rid of my tethers by hitting Y. But this is what you do in the game. You float around, you figure out how to salvage these ships and try not to die, because it's a dangerous profession. They think bounty hunting is a dangerous profession. No, no, being a cutter is. All right, let's turn this sucker on, take a look around. So what do we gotta worry about? Well, for one, anything with a red square on it means that there is no atmosphere inside. But it looks like out of this whole ship, one airlock is pressurized, where you see that green square, and this cockpit, or bridge, this is pressurized as well. If I put, oh, I want it! Oh, I want it! There's a, there's a stuffed animal in there. Um, if I were to cut this, we'd have explosive decompression. Even when I get close enough, my UI tells me, my heads up display, tells me danger. This is going to explode if you do anything. That little bunny's gonna go flying out of here. So we need to get inside and vent that. And not always. You don't always have a way of venting the, the air in a safe manner. Sometimes you just got to cause an explosive decompression. Um, and it's up to you to figure out what the best way to do it is. Another issue that I see we might have is this overly complicated fuel system this ship has. This is a cargo and fuel runner, so it's got a huge fuel tank on the back. If that goes off, we're just gonna we're gonna lose all of it. We're gonna lose the whole damn scrap salvage. Is that another cockpit? Oh crap! It is another cockpit. Oh, it's probably to to run the fuel operation, right? Or maybe it's a uh, it's detachable and it flies around and it like does extra work. All right, I'm kind of hoping hard space is a universe they're gonna keep making uh, games in because they've really established some cool lore with this. And I love, I love the music. The vibe is so good. All right, let's pop into here. Um, all right, so this fuel system needs to be purged before we can we can start cutting. Because if I want to get these nacelles off, I've got to cut them off at these yellow markers right here. Let me turn on my, my, my light. I got to cut these yellow brackets off, which I can do with this tool. But that fuel pipe is a problem. I start cutting, I'm going to blow this whole thing sky high. So it looks like we got a flush switch right here. That's not too hard. All right. Is there another one on the other side or are we clear? I think we might be clear. Cool. Now, some chips are overly complicated and you're gonna have to really get in there and figure it out. It's a puzzle. How are you gonna take this thing apart without blowing yourself up? And it's not pass or fail. Oh, you lost some salvage, you've lost the game. If you look at the top, you're gonna see a bar up there, one through five little markers on it. That is the value of what you've taken apart. All right, let's hope that that purge actually worked. Please don't explode or do anything funny. Oh, we look like we're good. Cool, time is money, get moving. Ah, it's free too, nice. Ah, oh, that's so satisfying, just moving chunks of this thing off. You can, you can already see how you could like tether a bunch of pieces together. If we start taking the hull apart in this video, you'll see how I tether a bunch of these and pull them all off at once. It is one of the most satisfying gameplay moments. Ah, so good. All right, anyways. We have straightened this before um, and played it quite a few times on the channel and it's just nice to have it fully out. Pop these off. Get my head up here. What is that noise? One of the things that I've recently upgraded on my suit 
is that the suit will translate things that it's picking up around it into sound so that I'm more aware of my surroundings. But I haven't figured out what some of those sounds mean yet. All right. Another nacelle's done. We hit F. We can actually push stuff like that. And since it is zero G, we hit it a few times. And we can get it going in the direction we need. Call it good. Now, where is that? Oh, really? Engineering is pressurized, but nothing else is in there. That's not good. Let's go have a poke inside and see. Where is... That's not an accessible hatch, is it? And it's pressurized on the other side, so we can't even cut through that. We gotta find the root in. Oh, there it is. Even though I've salvaged one of these ships before, uh, each one is different. You never know what you're gonna find on the inside. All right, this is an airlock, so we can cycle this as long as there's still power, and we haven't even found the reactor yet, so we still have power. Keep that in mind when you're working. If you still got pressurized areas and you know you want to go inside and look around, uh, if you, we hit five, we can turn on our light. Uh, if you pull the reactor, you're going to lose power. You're not going to be able to open and close the doors or use any of the mechanics and the components on the inside. I believe this is the only pressurized room on this section of the ship, right? Weirdly, this ship has two, two accessible areas. Luckily, this one's easy. We got an atmospheric regulator right here. I can pop the button, vent the O2, Air pressure level decreasing. and our lives got a little bit easier. All right, food packets. Aha, there it is. There's the reactor. And that right there, you can make that out on YouTube, world is the back thruster. So if we can pop that back thruster out, we can get the reactor out. Now, reactors are a special case. As soon as I pull that thing out, it's like pulling the pit on a grenade. It's gonna start, well, overheating and going critical. If I wait too long, it's gonna explode. So we're gonna have to deal with that. But before we do that, like we said, we gotta figure out, I need to pull all these computers out of here too. But first, oh, wait a minute. Oh, this is how you get to that other cockpit, nice. You don't have a bunny on in your cockpit, do you? No, you don't. All this has been vented, so we're actually good to go to cut this. And it looks like the cuts are on the inside for this cockpit. So let's go ahead and cut these off. Last ship that I was salvaging, um, the brackets were actually on the outside. And it was, it was, I'll be honest, I was up pretty late last night playing. Um, it was like two in the morning. And I wasn't really paying attention as well as I probably should have been. And I was like, oh, cool, brackets are on the outside. Zap, 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 did what I just did here. Didn't check if it was, if it was uh, pressured. And it blew off, hit me in the face, broke my mask, and I, well, I had to be, uh, I had to be cloned again. Because that's right, the company makes sure that death is a learning experience, and that's how they say it. <laughs> Let's pull these computers out. Go ahead and grab these for the barge. These are pretty valuable. We'll get them out now. Also, get the terminal wall out. Now, we could chain these together, but I don't want to waste my tethers just yet. I've only got 14 of them. We need to get back. My O2's getting low. I was kind of hoping we'd find an oxygen tank inside the... Grab all these little pieces and parts. Uh, let's grab that computer back there, too. I'm just recognizing the parts as I've taken them apart before. All right. Thank you, Weaver. Let's go back and get some O2. If I shoot this out and I right click, I could actually wheel myself in if the thing is heavier than I am. Control is your brakes. I can zoom back here. Cutting it a little too close. Let's reload on tethers. The company is happy to pay its employees in components uh, and pay you, like you have to pay for your oxygen. This right here isn't how much money I have. This is how much debt I'm in. One point, uh, just about 1.2 billion dollar million dollars no billion dollars i forgot that that decimal point comes out to here it actually doesn't fit on the screen that they have so i'm uh i'm billions of dollars in debt let's grab some fuel too on here uh thruster thruster fuel there we go yeah i'm a little in debt i've been working it off slowly and i i have my suspicions that I may not be able to work it off. They're gonna come up with some BS to keep me in. I don't know that yet. I don't know any story stuff. Um, that looks like a panel I can pull off. Interesting. I've, I've never seen that panel before. Huh. Come here. So this is blue. This goes in the processor. 
All right, let's get some big stuff taken apart. Let's take this whole section out of here. If I scan this real quick, um, this whole rig needs to go in the processor, right? Yeah, this whole rig needs to go in the processor. We're gonna do a side cut and line it up right. Gone. This actually cuts faster, but be very careful when using it. And then we'll just chuck that over there. And let's see what we, we can detach it from the rest of the rig. Uh, this corridor? You know what? I've never seen one of these corridors before. Hmm. I wonder how we cut this free. It looks like the corridor isn't really valuable. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't have any marks on it, so let's just cut through it. We just cut clean through? Yeah, we did, but we didn't cut it from the top. And I'll bet you my cutter can't... No, it's still got a section holding on somewhere. Oh, no, it's not, it's not tethered anymore for some reason. There you go. Try again. There she goes. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And that's going to go to the processor, and we're going to get paid. Another section done. Interesting. And it looks like the rest of the corridor can go into the furnace. So why don't we get real close, cut that... Oh, that was a weird cut. Uh, I don't think I actually managed to cut it completely free. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. There we go. Cut that. Now, you notice there's a little bit of a red line. That means that I have destroyed some components, and it's going to happen. There's going to be light sources that you, you find that you, or you don't find that get burned up or salvaged, or you're going to run into situations where as long as you're above that five, you're going to get all of the pay. Like, there goes a couple of light sources. Oh, no, there's a panel in there. Ah, well. Let's see how much we lose and how much we gain from it. Wait a minute. I threw it into the wrong one, too. And there you go. I just lost that much in the red. Notice how much that, that took over, right? I still got a lot of ship left, and I'm that close to losing out on my level 5 reward for this. So now I got to be really careful with what I'm doing. All right. I like that you can see the smoke because some of my gear is damaged. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a rough one. All right. We got a couple more sections here. Let's cut these suckers free. We're just going to fly over. Cut that off. Cut that off. And where's my barge? Above me. All right. Let's tether the two of you together. Tether you to the barge. Get in there. The amplifiers are away. That's one minute left, Cutter. You're All right. What's been our last minute for the it's day's work? Getting inside and getting rid of that last bit of O2 that's in here. Because I really don't want to have an explosive decompression. Uh, I'm on the wrong side of the ship. Deposit it's that, that side of the ship we need to be in. And it looks like the airlock is right next to the fuel system, so let's pop in over there. And when we're done, we'll have taken apart this entire ship. Ooh, new poster I have not seen before. Come here. Going. That's going on my wall. Another one right here. Nope. Grab it. I have seen that one. Uh, all right. So we got cockpit is this way. Let's cycle the airlock. Airlock pressurizing. I need to be in the airlock first. <laughs> Open that back up. Airlock depressure. Oh, that's the end of the day. All right. So we did one day of work. We made a little bit of money. Mostly, we just kind of came up with a plan on what we want to work on. Let's go look at the tool upgrade system before we head out and really start chopping this thing to pieces. Hello, ship breaker. Hello and good morning. Please enjoy this inspirational message. The last 10% of the Got a new sticker for the tools. energy as the first 90%, which is why it's so important to always give 110%. Ugh. Oh, Ugh. Oh. Show me my equipment. Now, can I get... I'm rank 9 at the moment. Can I get, uh, well, one, repair, yes. Repair, yes. There, everything's repaired. Uh, I would love to get better oxygen at the moment. I'd like to be able to stay out there. Here's the audio synth upgrades. An additional DSP chip to your processor. The tech now runs faster, smoother, and the range that extends even further. I, I like this idea so that I hear maybe threats and issues in the world space. Ooh, seat integrity and heat resistance would be lovely. Not what I was looking for, though. Helmets. Oxygen capacity. 
seal the atmosphere pump in its own pressurized environment, prevents any potential oxygen leakage while in the system's operating, resulting in even higher efficiency. Yes. So what this does, this upgrade, if you pick it up, will allow you to slowly get your oxygen back when you're in an environment that's already got O2. It can pull it from the environment. So when you're in there trying to figure out how to get rid of a pressurized space, you're actually refilling your O2. And this is what's going to make you come back uh, to the HAB, uh, to the HAB platform more often than anything else. What I'd really like to do is upgrade my thrusters. Can't though. I need level 10 before I can get another thruster upgrade. Uh, fuel capacity, I'm not overly worried about at this point. Level 10? No, level 11. Demo charges. I've yet to use those. Those are going to be cool. All right. Module cutter. Let's go for extra range on it. Pinpoint range. Uh, increase the cover. Yes. Oh, I can't do peak pat. Oh, I can't do peak capacity because I'm broke, aren't I? Yep. I'm out of my Lynx tokens. Lynx tokens are the way that you upgrade all your gear. Uh, let's place this sticker. I want it here. You can put stickers on your cutting tool. <laughs> and let's get started with our shift. Back out the hab. And continue work. If you don't like a ship you're working on, you can just ditch it and start with a new one. I don't think there's a penalty for it either. Good morning, shipbreakers. I was thinking about all of you last night, and something came to mind. This is a quote from one of history's greatest managers, a fella named Jonathan Rockefeller. Good management consists of showing average people how to do the work of superior people. He got it. Weaver, that's a good one for wow. you. Maybe write it down or something. Actually, I can just send it to you. Wow. This guy. All right, so this is our pressurized environment that we need to vent. In the airlock, let's go ahead and cycle it. Now, screwing up with a pressurized environment and causing an explosive decompression will, uh, if it if something hits you at high speed or if you're in the wrong space, it can fling you out into space or it can just straight up kill you. Ooh, that's a new poster. You know what? All right, where's my, where's my buddy? There you are. Like, <laughs> road trip friend collected. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, is there a, did I just walk past it? I did. Atmospheric regulator sitting on the bridge. Done and done. And it's the same kind of bridge as the other one, or cockpit, so we can just cut these free. And get rid of this thing. Now, some of the ships have much more complicated systems. The The last ship I was actually in had a fairly complicated uh, engine system. I don't think this one has one of those. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't have one of those. All right, let's get you over to the furnace. And out of my way. The last one that I had, I had to... Off you go. All right, in you go. We'll go back over there and we'll take a look at that engine. Maybe get started on that. Maybe get the reactor out of there. Uh, the last one that I was working on had a, a, a large oh, engine bay up. with a fuel system in the back that had to be cut free to get to the purge valve. You had to cut the fuel line before you could clear it of fuel. Yeah, there's fun stuff like that. So you basically, you light the candle on the, you know, you light the bomb, you light the fuse, and then you gotta rush over to put it out. All right, let's get you out of here. Uh, we got two sections that need to go. We're gonna pop the barge thruster class two off. This will be valuable. Off you go, out of the barge. And then you're a processor, because you're the cat, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Nailed it. No, didn't nail it. Didn't nail it. Remember, there's a pull once they get past the lines. And that works for you, too. If I hit Y, I can detach my tether. I'm a little worried it's not going to make it, so let's just give him a little bit of a boost. All right. We might have access to the reactor now. And I don't think I need power for the rest of this, so let's go ahead and get the reactor out of here and onto the barge. There it is. The second I pull this, it's going to get spicy. It's going to start overheating. And then going critical. Where's the hole? Where's the hole? Where's the hole? Where's the hole? Yeah, out you go, out you go, out you go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Reactor containment. Whoop. Ah, I touched it. I touched it. That's fine. Off you go. Radio malfunction. Got it. 
Look at how much that's worth. That got us past our first goal, so. Sweet. All right. Now we've got access to the interior. It's time to start cutting. What happened there? Hmm. Time to start cutting the pole plating out of here. That'll give us better access to this interior space. So these are attached to the roof. That should free up the roof panels. Now I can use this one. You gotta be careful with it. It can cause more damage. It will only cut where the lines are. But once you start cutting, if you move the cutter, you'll cut through... Ooh, there's an airlock right there. We don't want to cut through that because it will break it, and that's a valuable piece of tag. I'll go ahead and swing under here and start freeing it. Because not only do we have to get the panel that's attached to, which is what we just cut, we also have to get the airlock itself free so we can go on the barge. Now, all of this is on the UI. I've just cut through so many ships. Whoa, we got a pressurized system. That airlock was pressurized. No, okay, hang on, hang on. Don't run away from me. No, that doesn't mean that we did any damage. It just means that it popped. It looks like we're actually okay. Let's grab this, little control panel. Cut the last of the beams. There we go. Barge with you. And let's see, there's normally a panel on the outside of the ship too. Yes, there is. Get out of here. In you go. Now, one of the things that they've added to this, which I'm, I'm, I'm excited to try, is right now I'm just doing a, you know, I'm doing a spotlight. I'm not in a huge hurry. Um, just wanted to show the mechanics off and make sure that we pick this thing clean. They've actually got time trials where you can go up against, they've got leaderboards going against the community to see how fast you can strip certain kinds of ships and who's the fastest, and also how many people have played through the campaign on different difficulties, and how many times they have been cloned. I have been cloned twice so far in the hours that I've played, and I've come really close a number of times, which we are going to be streaming this today when this goes live on the day of release over on Twitch if you want to join me. See how many more times I get cloned. Off you go. Off you go. A couple more sections there. Now, these sections are actually free and clear. We can start moving these. So, let's do it. Off you go. Into the processor. If we scan, you can see these are all blue panels. Now, one of these is not actually cut free yet. I think it might be that front one. Yeah, we still have a single weld point right up here. But as soon as I break that, those tethers should get them move into the processor. There you are. Cut you free. There they go. Nice. That's such a satisfying feeling. You just peeling it like an orange. But it looks like my tether broke again. If they rotate in a way that makes it awkward for the tether, it won't it won't do it. There they go, there they go, there they go. And that's the whole back end of the ship. Nice. So let's go ahead and get this section out. Now I've upgraded my cutter for range, so I can cut from pretty far away. There we go. Knock you off of here. You're not pressurized, are you? No, but there is another airlock up towards the uh, the foredeck up there that I'll have to be careful with. It is pressurized. I'll have to cycle it. Pop you off. Don't cut through the airlock. Awesome. All we got to do now is grab those panels off. I've already grabbed the panel, so you're just going straight to the processor. In you go. Valuable object Come here. Awarded. To the barge. Grab my cutter. Let's work on these Solid. bottom panels. Yoink. And we can free up this little habitation module that's built in the center. Cut you free. Cut you free to cut the back end off. Is this back end is basically done. I think you're you're entirely processor, right? Sort of. Yeah, even that's processor. Okay, cool. So all we really gotta do, and we've already done it, 
Yeah, we had a little bit of an explosion, it looks like, on this side. We did a little bit of damage to it. Oh, no. No. Oh, that's... No, come back. Gotcha. In you go. Both of you. Alright, let's see if we can chain some of these together. I got 15 tethers left. You're out of here on this side. Keep going. I bet you're stuck on the bottom a little bit, aren't you? Yeah, because it's I've got the whole thing. This whole section. It's gonna take it a minute. Let's give it a little bit more oomph, maybe get them separated. Nice. Oh, I see what I've done. Alright, cancel that. So you can hit Y and you can cancel your tethers. I switched up my tethers. There you go. Got nine tethers left. Ah, oh, music's so good. We can just swing in here and grab that light. A little extra money. Now, I'm not super worried about getting every single tiny piece. Uh, as long as I get above that five, I'll be looking pretty good. So if I miss a light here at control panel, not the end of the world. Go on. Get out of here. Okay, and that gives us this entire back section. This thing, uh, I think this thing's ready to just go. I have to be a little bit careful. I don't want to get too close to that furnace because then I will be in trouble. Choo! Come here, come here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach you ah, to those tank trap looking things. That's what I've been using those for. As like it's another mount point. Keep stuff away from the furnace. My O2 is getting really low. We really do need to get you pushed in this direction, so come on. Get away from that. And then let's go get some oxygen. If I right click, I can wheel this. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, how did I not break my mask? Go, 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 go. I can wheel this in. It gives you some speed. Control to break. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I really want to get my suit upgrades for thrust. And O2. All right, we're good. We're good. And fuel doesn't go down that fast. All right, so we can detach those. Now you're on the right side. Head on in. Oh, you know what? Let's go back and get some tethers. Or I forget. And break. Tethers. Going. Ah, oh, it's so satisfying to see the ship being stripped apart. Uh, we need to cut. Well, that whole back end is already going in. We can actually cut the whole forward section off. Let's get rid of this. Wait, where's the airlock? Oh, that, that is an airlocked space. Let's pop in here real quick. And get rid of the last of the O2 environment. Airlock Airlocks automatically depressurize themselves when you open them. Credits awarded. So you don't have to worry about, like, fighting a panel? Other than the airlock panel. Uh, let's go into it here now. Uh, you know what? No, we're going to do the interior of this. If I can get into the the inner hull, which I can. There's a hatch right here. We can cut the entire, like, all the brackets. There we go. And separate the hull from this thing. We can take the front off. Do it all in one go. Cut the hab free. Cut the bottom plate off, tab free completely. That right there is a power cell. Let's try not to damage that or we'll shock the hell out of ourselves. This one's not looking too bad. And once you start getting the hang of like what connects to what, you will quickly find, oh, a little collectible there. There's something that's a mechanic of the game that I'm not gonna talk about today. I highly recommend you just jump in and play. Um, pop that, pop that. There's the airlock, which we have already decompressed. We're just gonna cut this whole thing from the inside out and then pick the bones. Don't wanna use the side cutter here because we will definitely destroy the airlock and those are valuable pieces of equipment. Nice. What's that thing? Ah, just a piece of scrap. There we go. Time, pick this thing clean. Eh, 
Look at that. So freaking cool. Now, I think there's a panel on the inside of the other piece. Yeah, it's this piece. Coming through. Yeah, at the beginning, it's like there's just little bits and pieces here and there, and if you're careful, uh, hopefully you'll be able to get them all. But then once you start taking the hull apart, you see that bar just go fast. I probably got maybe one day of work left on this rig before we've got it completely stripped. Off you go. Let's do two of these. Really give it some speed. Come on, you guys, rotate. Accepted for processing. There they go. We can pull this off. Just don't let it get too close to us. Or it will shock us. We're almost to all the interior components. Which is going to be mostly furnace once we cut them all free. Let's see if I can pull this off without breaking anything. I get them both? Nah. Getting a little low on fuel. That timer you're hearing is the end of the day. All right, that's gonna wrap up the day. And that's where we're at. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. As you start to salvage, you're starting to make money, you're gonna get more and more ranks, which you can up, uh, unlock more and more of the upgrades and the customization that you get access to. There we go. Rank 10. Congratulations, Shipbreaker. Your hard work has gotten you the red seal. Nice. One more rank and I get explosives. Yes. And I've noticed that the ranks also tie into uh, story elements, right? So as you play through, sometimes it'll just be, hey, you unlocked a new ship uh, that you're gonna be able to take apart. And then other times you'll get these like in between story bits. Hello, ship breaker. This is your morning wake up Level call. six hazard. You're now authorized to work salvage with the following hazards. Class two reactors, far more powerful React and source with greater potential for damage, more complex extraction processes. And you get with every new ship comes, well, more and more things that can kill you. I've got some unread messages as well. Hey, you get new stickers. Cool. Good news, Cutter. You've earned clearance to the next hazard level. This means you'll be getting class two reactors now. Gnarly things. We'll start training when you're ready, and I'll walk you through them. Oh, they're not so bad. <laughs> You've seen one reactor. You've seen them all, I think. This ain't really that simple. Yeah, I got a tip for you there, newbie. Don't blow it up. <laughs> Cutter. Super helpful. Like I said, let me know when you're ready to start training. Don't take too long. Wow. So we've now got a training mission that'll teach us. What it's going to do, it's going to give us a certain ship, and he's going to be able to walk us through how to pull that reactor safely, which is pretty neat. All right, everybody. I'm going to head over to my equipment room, and we're going to wrap up the video. Uh, I'm going to be streaming this all day over on Twitch. So come over and join me if you want to. Thanks again, Hard Space Shipwrecker, for the sponsorship and supporting the channel. I appreciate it. Um, and I will catch you all in the next video. Later, everybody. What do we got in here? Uh, equipment at rank 10. I gotta have something cool. Yes. Yes. Grapple upgrades. Now, what I really want is tethers. I want more tethers. Yes. Oh, no. I could have had it.